good morning welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing i'm doing amazing okay today's been weird okay like you know but like i just believe that god always has a plan right all right it is sunday happy happy sunday i'm so happy why why am i happy why am i happy why because I am gonna be going to church like physically like I go to church I do attend online church but like it's been a while that I actually like you know actually physically like go to church so it's it's pretty exciting for me because I just feel like there is nothing like actually exper experiencing the, the church like I mean the people the the the, the Seventh of God just together in one place like it's just an, a beautiful experience that I'm just like I actually miss that experience and like you know with the pandemic and the devil really trying to like attack the people of God in their minds like I feel like you know it's about time to actually go and just like you know experience God's fullness even more okay so yeah i woke up this morning and i already prayed and but like you know the spirit of god was like you know just pray again and just kind of show these people like a bit of your routine okay so if you don't already know this page is basically my life i'm a christian i love god with all of my heart like it's literally my my father like and i'm i'm sure like if you're watching my vlog like you you're you're probably like yeah like yeah he's my father too like hey he's our father okay so like i love jesus and he's basically my whole entire thing and yeah all right so um yeah i already prayed this morning but i wanted to actually pray for you guys um if you're watching this in the morning afternoon night doesn't matter so just close your eyes let, let's just go into prayer well thank you lord jesus but i exalt your holy name you're perfect your loving, your Prince of Peace, Lord of Lord, but I exalt you for your grace, for your mercy, for your kindness. Thank you for everything that you've bestowed upon us, your children. Thank you, Father, for loving us, for giving us the power to fight against every principalities and, and pettiness of the devil. Thank you, Lord, for granting us strength, for granting us grace to, to just fight against this invisible war that's going on right now. But I glorify your holy name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Yes, we were perfect unto you. And as we start this day, O oh God, or as we continue this day, O oh God, that you are with us, you are fellowshipping with us, you are showing us the manifestation of your love and your own in your perfect grace, O oh God. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your holy name, O oh God. You are beautiful and we exalt you. In Jesus mighty name we pray amen oh okay so what else do I do right so when I'm done okay praying I basically um, ooh, I basically would read my Bible so if you don't know um okay like you should be following um I don't even know why I started the sentence like if you don't know <laughs> okay so basically i'm following this plan on the bible app it's the best okay it's really helped me with my faith just helped me like fellowshipping with god and it's amazing so the one i'm actually reading right now you know i don't even think i should be saying that name for some reason i'm god is just like no caution all right cool so we're just gonna go into it all right so the devotional i'm gonna read okay so it says the word the word no is important. <laughs> okay, I do have an accent. I'm Nigerian. Okay, so the word no is important for your spiritual journey. The most important word to remember for your spiritual journey may be a surprising one, which is no. <laughs> your faith journey is a long one. Too many people start off well in their spiritual journey and potter out before the end. God wants you to go the distance. You've got a marathon ahead of you and you can't run a marathon with a barbell in your hands. Often people quit their faith journey early because everything they're, they're carrying wears them out. 
you need to declutter. A cruise liner can get pretty fast in the middle of the water. If you add a hundred lifeboats to it, it would slow down. Plug a battery into one light bulb and it would go a long way. Plug it into 15 and it would drain much more quick quickly. Plug it, plug it into 100 and it will drain even more quickly. That's what happens to us when we try to do too much. I try to do too much, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes going, um, doing good keeps us from doing the best. I'm gonna read that again. Sometimes doing good keeps us from doing the best. Huh. Weights aren't bad, they're not sinful, they're just unnecessary. It could be a job, a relationship, or a hobby. It's something that slows you down from what God wants from your life, and it's not worth it. So, the question the Spirit of God is basically ministering to me right now is, what in your life right now could potentially be slowing you down from actually, you know, pursuing or going about the purpose of God for your life or you might be you might be actually going or doing the things that God wants you to do but like how how is the our the th other things you do in your life slowing you down from actually accelerating even faster in doing more things for God because we're in the end days and the devil is not is, it is not slowing down the devil is not slowing down. He's going after people, going after their minds, going after their hearts, going after their lives, taking everything that he can because it doesn't have anything. The God gave us as children the inheritance. And so the devil is trying to steal it. And that includes our eternal life because Jesus died for everybody, every person, including you. If you're not a Christian and you're watching me right now, all right, cool. Let's just go to the next one. Um, it's Hebrews 12, 1. So it goes like this. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. You know, Honestly, like when I did start my faith, like really um, strongly, um, the one fear that I had was like, you know, because I've, I've been a Christian for quite some time now, right? And then I, 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 went, I went off and to do other things that wasn't really in line with God's word. And yeah, obviously it pulled me out because I'm a child of God. Um, but my fear was like basically like, you know, starting and stopping and not continuing and then continue again and then stop that's basically you know but then i am an athlete and i've run a half marathon before and one thing about a, mar a half mar a marathon or half marathon is that you will not get to the finish line if you stop you will not get to the finish line if you go a different path Usually if you're running a marathon, there's usually like directions for you to take to actually reach your finish line But if you know your journey and you Divert from your journey, you're never going to get to the finish line Yes, you can divert and then take other routes to get to your finish line, but you still have to Turn to go on the same path to reach your destination, but the path is still the path Do you understand what I'm saying? The path is still the path and there are people who are, who are strong and they have strong faith, you know, and they would get there faster. But, you know, my point is like, it doesn't matter what, where you are at in life right now. What matters is you get on your knees and pray that God should take you to the right path. So you can get to the finish end. So you can get to the finish line. And the finish line is eternal life. The finish line is bringing people to Christ. To bring in people to Christ. Because, you know, God loves us so much. He loves us so much that 
he doesn't want to come now he doesn't want to end the world he doesn't want to come now because we as christians we're not done doing our work he wants as many as many people to be saved he wants as many people in the church before he finally comes to to destroy the old world okay so that's the that's the main reason that's the final point the final point is the end of the world it's revelations but revelations cannot happen we cannot go to heaven right like we obviously when we die we do go to we ascend but essentially what i'm saying is there there is a there's going to be a judgment for each and every one of us and and you know there are people that that's going to perish the stubborn stubborn ones the ones that are continually rebellious and get against god they will not make it they will not make it they're so always going to be condemned forever but it's our job as Christians to bring them closer to God. Anyways, that's enough preaching for today. But I hope you guys enjoyed my daily devotional. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And I've been enjoying the Bible app. And it's been super great for me. I would recommend to just create a plan on there and follow it every day to really keep your faith strong. Okay? Alright. Okay, so it is Sunday. Um... Alexa, what's the time? The time is 6.20 a.m. 6.20 a.m. Enjoy the weekend. Mm. Anyways, um, 6.20 a.m. Church is, um, I'm just going to wear like a jacket because I'm on camera. Um, okay, so church is like about 9.30. So I need to get ready. I need to have breakfast and just kind of prep myself for church. It's pretty far from where I live and I don't drive so like I'm gonna need to take the bus which is totally fine. Um but yeah it's just gonna take longer. Anyways, yay! Like what? God is good, God is good, God is good. So what am I gonna eat today? Ugh. For breakfast. I'm actually gonna be vlogging to church, like <laughs> I'm gonna take you guys on the experience. Maybe I'm gonna convince one person to actually physically go to church because honestly like you can't you can't actually um you can't compare the the the, the, the experience is different like, you can try to like tell me otherwise but like it's not the same it's actually not the same yeah you know what i'm actually thinking about burrito this morning <laughs> but burrito in the morning it's because i meal prepped yesterday and i'm just super excited about the burrito don't blame me. <laughs> I'm super excited about the burrito. I'm just like, should I? But no. We're gonna do smoothie instead. Okay, we're gonna do smoothie. There was one time I actually woke up. It was super hot. It was super, super. <laughs> super. It was super hot. And then like I woke up and I had like ice cream, which was and then I had a sugar rush and then yeah I was completely tired and it was only like about 9 30 in the morning okay I feel like those are the things that you can do when you live by yourself yeah okay so smoothie this is what we're gonna do for swimming let's see what do we have here? So we have blueberries, frozen blueberries, pineapple, serving size. I usually wouldn't throw this bag out, but I just, you know. Sustainability. Banana. And spinach. Okay, cool. Let me just turn the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh, um, da, 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 da. You might not be able to see me properly. But yeah, I'm just gonna rinse this real quick. I'm probably gonna do like a, an apartment tour later. Like, there's really nothing to like, <laughs> it's just like bare apartment, it's nothing crazy. All right, cool. So, banana in there. Da -da 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 -da. Boom. 
cute. Pineapple. Boom. Right? Blueberries. <laughs> I, I was thinking about God and I'm just like, I love him. so good to me all right cool so one handful of spinach another handful of spinach all right and then i'm gonna put this in the freezer i call it free i don't know why i call it freezer it's freezer you know i'm a yoruba girl freezer <laughs> yep so we'll just put it in here and so usually like I would pour my water from the filter into like a small like a, um, a messenger like this and don't ask me why <laughs> I mean if you really really want to know you should comment down below and I'm gonna tell you because I've got nothing to hide You know what I could do? I could put yogurt in this. And I feel like this water is way too much. <laughs> Yo, I kind of want it a little bit like, like a slush, slush. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, are you cool? What the hell? Okay, let's go. I'm gonna tell you why I am measuring my water. So like you, su I'm supposed to be drinking. I mean, all women should be drinking about five of this. So yeah, like I did make the smoothie and I put water in there, so I would just measure it and pour it in. So it's like the same amount of water I'm still gonna be taking every day, whether it be in smoothie form or just water form. How are you coping with the pandemic? I feel like a lot of people have gone crazy <laughs> which is totally understandable without god yeah that's like bound to happen <laughs> yeah all right so i'm all ready to like go run i have my flip belt here and pretty much like yep i'm ready to go so I'm probably gonna like film on my phone when I'm probably doing like a couple of like I wanna say miles but like uh. <laughs> anyways um yeah like ready Alright so I basically am I'm back from running and I took my shower already. I'm pretty tired. So there is like two services. There's one for 9.30 and there's one for 11.30. So like it's already quite late now, so I'm just gonna go for the one for 11.30 and just catch like about 45 minutes now, yeah. So I would see you guys, you know, when I wake up. Alright guys, I am back from church, okay, it was amazing it was the best time of my life all right i'm back and i'm happy that i went and yeah i'm gonna before obviously like before this clip i'm gonna put like <laughs> yo uh, why am i bad at i'm not bad at this i'm not bad at this anyway hey guys i'm back from church and i'm super excited that i went to church um I'm gonna insert a clip after this or like somewhere around here so you can see how the vibe was 
and how everything was the whole experience for me was like 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend um but yeah this is where i'm gonna end the vlog so yeah if you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe like and comment you know just tell me whether you're gonna go to the gym in per the gym <laughs> the to church in person or um yeah anyway 